Mental Health Awareness Week, I want to share with you why I won't be using much of the mental health kind of vocabulary in the work that I do. Um, and that's a conscious decision because while I think it's amazing that in the UK there's this kind of label now to try and speak about inner world and emotions and, and bring awareness to the fact that we can do something about, about it and there's loads of support out there and it's okay to talk about it. For me, there's an association with sickness and and I really don't believe that I mean, in most mental health conversations are actually mental health issues. For me, the lack of self-awareness, a lack of self-understanding, a lack of self-discovery, which means that we can feel overwhelmed. But most of the cases, it's just a normal part of being a human being, not being equipped with tools to understand how to shift your thoughts, how to shift your emotions, how to shift your energy, to get better handle on what's driving your actions. And I think for me, that stuff is personal development, right? That's self-knowing, that self-knowledge. And if you can master that, then you can have levers and tools to be able to manage yourself. That's what you're going to hear me talk about, self-transformation, feeling empowered to better understand yourself so you can identify what things you need but the most important thing is just educating ourselves on stuff that's actually the same for everyone right the human operating system functions the same for everyone and i think science neuroscience is helping us a lot more with that but you know once you understand the human operating system that the fact that we have a lot more control over how we feel and you know how we think and how we can shift our energy then then you need to better understand yourself because your, your own singularity as an individual is going to dictate, you know, what drives you, you know, and how you react to stress and how you respond to stress. And there's patterns to that. There's a science to that. You, you can predict observable behavior of, you know, when you're stressed, you're going to go into this first degree and then second degree and then depression looks like this for you. But it might look very different for someone else. And often we, we can't self-diagnose because we just don't have this knowledge. Then a lot of the work is going to be deeper. It's about understanding, you know, your limiting beliefs and uncovering, you know, what, what things you tell yourself. You're in a dialogue that's stopping you from doing what you, you want to do. Or there's kind of triggering these emotions that might be overwhelming. So with the time we've had back with the lack of commute because of remote working, you know, I invite anyone that wants to change their lives or feel better or, or improve their relationships or you know turn around their performance at work um yeah to, to seek self-discovery services understand you and once you understand you you can start seeing how you're getting in your way and then it's a lot easier to identify what intervention you're going to need